Hi there, this is John Levensold for KillerPHP.com and in this video on advanced MySQL usage I'm going to be looking at many-to-many -many relationships. So in the last video we created a table called category and a table called author and a table called post and we had a one-to-many between category and post and a one-to-many between author and post. In other words there could be one author that would author many posts and there could be a category and the category would contain many posts. So now we're going to switch things up a little bit and we're going to create another table that will act as a join table or a cross table in order to facilitate a many-to-many -many relationship between category and post. So I'm going to start us off by uh, adding a drop table by the way, it's case insensitive, but drop table if exists on the top here. And this is my, my script, by the way. And it's just going to be a table called post category. In other words, we're going to be joining the post with the category. Now, uh, other modifications that we need, we're going to have to create, of course, this table. And we're also going to actually get rid of the category ID from our post. Uh, because we're actually not going to need it anymore and I'll explain why in just a minute. So I'm going to start by deleting that and I'm also going to delete the foreign key reference or actually I'm just going to cut it. So if you look now basically I've gotten rid of any relationship between the category table and the post table. The next step is to of course create this table that will join the two. So in this case I'm going to create a table called post category and it will have a ID which will be an integer primary key auto increment and it will also have a post ID which will be an integer and it will have a category ID which will be an integer and then we're going to have a foreign key on category ID that references the category table so if we just look at this for a second here we have the category ID and then we have on delete no action so that should be good there so we've got a foreign key here but we also want to have another foreign key and this foreign key is going to be for post ID so I'm just going to copy this paste it and then I'm gonna close this bracket and then specify the engine as in ODB and here instead of it being a foreign key on category ID it's going to be post ID and the, it's going to reference the post ID so there we go so now we've got a category table a author table a post category table and a post table so if I also this select statement down here is no longer going to work for us because we won't be able to just do a very simple left join on category. We can still do the left join on author, but we won't be able to do the left join on category anymore. That's going to require a little bit more work. So the last little thing I need to do is actually get rid of the category IDs from my post here. So I'll just delete that and that and that and make sure that this all looks okay and there we go and in some ways our post table has actually gotten a lot simpler because now we only have one foreign key constraint there and we've moved all the, co the foreign key constraints, constraints to the post category table. So we've decoupled the two, essentially. So if I select all this, copy it, and then paste it into my terminal, 
I'm getting some error down the line. Let's see. This looks okay. Can't create table post category error number 150. It looks like there's something wrong here. So if I say create table post category, maybe I'm missing something here. Let's just go back for a second. Ah, yes. So in order to be able to do this, again, order matters. So I can't just put the post category anywhere. I mean, I need to insert this after I've got the post table, right? Because it's got foreign key constraints. So actually, I'll just put it at the bottom after the insert posts. Hit save again, copy it, paste again, and it looks good, except for the error on the select statement down here, which can easily be mitigated or remedied rather. Good. Okay, so if I do a select star, if I first do show tables, we'll see that we now have four tables instead of three. If I do a select star from author, you can see that I have my list of authors and I have categories and I have posts with corresponding author IDs, but no longer a category ID. And if I describe the post category table, then I can see that it's got a post ID and a category ID. Now, in order for this to properly function, it actually requires foreign keys. And here is our first example of that, one to many, or that many to many rather. So down here, what I'm gonna do is just start with linking politics and international as two separate categories for the first posting. So to do that, it's actually very simple. I just say insert into post category, post ID, category ID, values, and the first one is gonna be the post ID, so it's the first post, and the category that I wanna insert is going to be politics. So it's going to be 1-1. One, one. And then if I want to link it to international at the top here, then it's going to be 1-2. And so I'm also going to use this double dash, which is a comment. So link post with politics. And this is going to link the posts with international. So select all, copy, paste it in. Now things get a lot more interesting.